everybody, how's it going? Uh, in this video, we're checking out something that I actually think is super, super cool. Now, you notice right now we're already in the cockpit of this plane here. Uh, this is the new add-on I downloaded on the X-Plane forum the other day. And by the other day, I mean yesterday. Whatever, that's not the point. I'll talk more about this thing later. Uh, what you'll notice about the camera, though, is that it's moving around. How is it doing that? I'm not moving my mouse. You can see it's being stationary. That is because I have head tracking now. I figured out a way to get head tracking for free in X-Plane. Uh, and it actually it works super well, which is awesome. I actually find this hilarious how well this works. And, you know, you can look all around. It doesn't really like my hair or my glasses, uh, but, you know, it, it doesn't cause as much of an issue as they thought. I can't look very much this way because I have my camera set up offset of my monitor. Like, it's not on top of my monitor like a webcam. It's just, uh, it's it's off to the right. Uh, but I can look this way really far. I don't know why I need to. I, I If I look 90 degrees this way, I'm not even facing my monitor, so it's kind of useless anyway. But, you know, that's not the point. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was super cool. And, you know, I think I'm going to show you just how to get it. And it's actually shockingly simple. You wouldn't believe how easy this is. Uh, the hardest part is just finding a camera to work with it. And, you know, I have, like, a GoPro Hero 7 Black that, you know, I use for things that you would use a GoPro for, obviously. And, uh, for whatever reason, the GoPro software says the Hero 7 Black Edition is too old and outdated to be used with the GoPro software, which is absolutely dumb. Uh, but anyway, I had to find something else. And, uh, I found my, my DSLR that I use for, like, photography and stuff, and I thought, hey, you know, this might maybe work, and it does! Uh, to my surprise. Uh, so I'm using that right now, and it, I gotta say... It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it now. All right, so we're in Chrome now. And uh, I'm on the GitHub page for AI Track. You're going to actually need two different softwares for this. Uh, now, I know I, that might seem like it's going to make it a pain in the you-know-what to get it working. It's really not, though. Uh, trust me. So you're going to need to go to the releases page here and then just, uh, well, just download, you know, whichever one of these you want. I recommend the, you know, the newest one. I don't know why you'd get any other of them. Uh, anyway, download that, you know, it's going to go there and whatever. Uh, and then you got to go to the open track page, which is here and, you know, download this as well. And then you're going to open uh, them up, you know, it, they'll, they both have EXEs in their downloads, uh, so we'll open that up right now. Okay, here we are, and I'm gonna be, uh, blurring my face for this. I'm actually gonna stop tracking for now. I'm gonna blur my face, you know, just cause I don't, I don't know. I don't like showing my face. I don't know if it's really a good idea, but anyway, we have our open track and our AI track here. You're gonna wanna go... Well, I'll, I'll show you my input stuff. Uh, you want UDP over network for your input and then your output. You want free track 2.0 enhanced. Uh, and then your filter is Accelera. I don't know. I just find that this stuff works the best. This is the default and it works. And I'm not going to screw with it because usually when I mess with things, uh, it seems to cause problems because I, d <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just leave that there. We'll go to our options now. And I just have this binded to control shift V for some reason. I don't know why I chose that, but I did. So that's what it is. And then I didn't actually set that uh, thing. Control shift S, I guess, restarts the tracking. For our outputs, I have pitch inverted because uh, for whatever reason in X-Plane, it just, it, it's inverted by default, and so when you look up, it looks down. It's kind of weird. Invert that. Uh, roll, I have also disabled uh, because, I don't know, it just it's really, really sensitive, and it gets to be kind of distracting. I don't really find that you need it. And then X, Y, Z, uh, this makes it so that when you move your head, like move it, not, not just turn your head, but actually move around, uh, it moves in the sim as well, uh, which is very cool. Uh, however, it is extremely sensitive, and if you <laughs> you move your head the slightest, like one inch to the right, and or you know one inch forward, and before you know it, you're bashing your head through the windshield of your aircraft, and that's not really what I want. I'm just not about that. So I have those disabled. Uh, relative translation, uh, I also have this disabled because I thought that was uh, where you control, you know. Disabling the XYZ. I just disabled everything that made it so the camera can move around. 
I just want it to be able to look around. Uh, have it set to center at startup. Okay, but what do you actually need uh, AI track for? Well, you need it for the actual tracking because it doesn't do a whole lot by itself. I have it to 1280 by 720 at 60 FPS because that's just what it defaulted to. Well, actually, I changed it to 60. I don't really notice too much of a difference, though. This, by default, I believe is 56 degrees. I have it at 72 uh, just because, you know, I sit close to my monitor, close to my camera. Uh, be sure you get this correct. It seems to help out a lot. So just kind of estimate, you know, I kind of estimated here that I sit about a foot and a half away from my camera, which is like 0.4 meters. Uh, and then I have these turned all the way up just because I <laughs> my room's kind of dark. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, you know, apply those and whatever. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to mention something. Uh, go into your configuration here and uh, click use remote open track client. If you're on the same computer, using it on the same computer as your open track, you shouldn't need to do this. Y you should just be able to leave this blank. Uh, this is basically the IP address of the PC that's running open track. Now, let me minimize OBS. Just leave this blank. If it's on the same PC, you don't have to do anything. But check that. That's how you connect those two. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And then you can just X that out. Uh, did I go over? Yes, I did go over these options. Okay, so that's really all we need to do. For mapping here, this kind of changes the relative sensitivity of everything. Uh, I'll let you just kind of see my settings here. I don't really think I need to explain them too much. I've just moved the curves around a little bit to make the... Uh, stuff a little bit more a little bit more sensitive so i don't have to move my head 180 degrees just to look like 90 degrees to the right and you know as i said earlier if you're looking oh basically away from your monitor then it's kind of useless uh and then you know i have that the roll i just left alone because i don't use it and then xyz is obviously just completely flat uh so it won't do anything but that really should be it and then you go into x-plane here and you can see it's working it's doing its thing it looks freaking awesome it's so freaking cool dude i love this it's so amazing how it just works uh let me actually show you how to get it working though uh, so you need to go to your graphics settings here and uh you need to just enable this and it should work it should just work it should just turn on and uh, what I recommend doing, because uh, it is a little bit finicky to get started with, is have your camera a center keybind, like recenter camera keybind in X-Plane. Have it set to the same uh, keys as your center, your tracking, your head tracking. So it kind of, you know, does it all in one. You don't have to go press in 4,000 different keys. So I guess we can go ahead and, you know, fly around a little bit. And I will, you know, just kind of show you how it works you know look down we'll put the flaps down here uh this plane is super cool by the way i absolutely love this thing let me know if you guys want me to do a separate video on it uh because it's pretty epic uh as you can see we're at beautiful saint Bartholomew today uh this scenery here is my own scenery i have made and then i uh well it's a gateway i believe i downloaded the the airport scenery itself from the gateway the hill and stuff the reason that's all there you can see, there it is, it's finally here, unlike in the horrible default scenery. It's here because of the ortho scenery. Um, I just turned up the resolution all the way so it would kind of, you know, create all the terrain accurately. And uh, now, you can see, you can look around, and it's great. You can look up, you can look down. Well, I can't really right now because my hair's in the way of my face covers like my entire forehead and it, it just kind of doesn't really know what to do about that but this is really useful i'm gonna get rid of this mirror it's cool but i don't see why you really need it uh you can see i can just look around but yeah i feel like this might make some people motion sick uh even just watching this video so i'm i'm really sorry if that is you and you are kind of like getting a little bit uneasy uh, I can't really do anything about it. If you don't want to watch, then just don't watch, I guess. We're gonna go ahead and just go on to a final approach now. Oh, one thing I should mention, you cannot pan the camera around normally when you're doing this. You can still zoom, uh, but you cannot pan the camera normally. You have to just look around. All right, I'm gonna spawn in for a final approach. I'll see you guys in a sec. Yes, here we are on final approach and we're going 120 knots which is not really what you want to be doing. All right, we're set up. We're coming in for a probably terrible landing. 
We're, we're let's cut it really close to the hill right here. Like, oh geez, can we even strike the car? That car is in the ground to begin with. I don't really think they need our help. They've already got enough issues going. Let's go ahead and cut the throttle and slam it down on the runway. Yes, just land. I don't care if it's smooth. Oh god. Oh, okay. Never mind. Do not do that. That is a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, if you're wondering what I did, and you couldn't... Oh, Jesus, we're doing donuts. If you're wondering what I did, I basically... I think we can actually just go watch the replay. I basically landed, and then... Oh, <laughs> it's even funnier in uh, fast motion. We are super close to the hill. Okay, what I did there was I landed, like, normally. Kind of kind of hard, but I, I landed normally. And then I just went full stick forward, and then, you know, did that. We were basically going on one wheel... And then that happened, and you know you you you, you get the you get the idea. Okay, that was. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect that to happen. I can do good landings. I swear. I just wasn't really trying there. I was at first, and I'm like, you know what? This is already going so poorly. Why not make a show out of it? Make a real uh, a real production out of this travesty of a landing here. And I did. But yeah, that's that's really it. I just kind of wanted to show you. Maybe I'll do more videos. Uh, using this head tracking system here if you guys want me to uh, if you don't like it though if it makes you, you know sick or whatever or it's just really distracting let me know and I won't use it but anyway that's really gonna be it uh, if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe and do that stuff and leave a comment if you want me to do a video like a dedicated video on this plane here or just more videos with the head tracking in general because I think this is super cool and I really do like it uh, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and uh have a good day. See you guys in the next one.